What's up guys, it is I, the mighty Green Chili here, and today we're going to do an awesome travel mock showcase. As your host, Green Chili, we show you unique and special travel mock sets for you to farm your wearing your character. After all, I like making travel mock, it's what I enjoy. If you enjoy this content, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more cool content. So let's get started, shall we? Finally, we're here today with this awesome set which took me a while to make. And that is the Void Slayer Hero set. This Void Zero, yeah, Void Heroes, Void Slayer Hero, yeah, I fuck a weird name. The Void Slayer Hero set looks pretty damn badass. I didn't really think the gloves would actually match, but look at it. It does match with the fur. I mean, look at it. The nice little brownish in there. You got a little blue to, I meant, did I say blue? I meant purple to match, match with the belt and along with the purpleness that comes under the robe. And even the axe has a little bit of, you know, that similar color scheme, along with the axe having that little void monster's, you know, heart. You could determine whichever monster that might have been, but I mean, you can get the title of the name. You also got the nice axe, which matches pretty much obviously good. Got a nice little shoulder pads, which is the same set as the belt. And a nice little crest looking, you know, crown sort of mask, which I thought was pretty good. Yeah, you might be thinking this is just for female Draenei's to show their stuff, whatever you call it. Well, if you're a male Draenei, it also does the same thing. So that's right. You're both both me male and female Draenei's alike. Can't freaking wear this thing set. And it looks pretty good. You might be wondering, how do you get this damn set? Well, in this video, we'll do just that. So let's get started, shall we? First on this list is the Calism Gladiator's no, wait, it's called the Bloodthirsty Gliders Ring Helm, and then the Prideful Gliders Ring Mail Armor. Or at least that's why I looked it up. I think it's shoulder pads, but who cares? The, the helmet and shoulder pads can be found all the way into your favorite little city, Stormwind. And once you go inside of Stormwind City, then all you have to do is just make sure you go to Old Town, and once you go to the local crossway over here <laughs> sorry my throat's fucking sore but once you little crossway make sure you head to the right side once you enter from old town and then make sure you go talk to to Edelin Hash housing when he will sell for three marks of honor and the show pads is sold by Captain Dirk Hammer which is for two two marks of honor so that's basically how you get the the helm and the shoulder pads. A little cheap, but not that hard to get. So yeah, that's where you get the dang two pieces right there. But what about the belt, right? I mentioned the same set, which is true, but the belt's not easy at all. Now to mention that, to get the dang belt, you must go all the way to second fairy expansion area. Make sure you go to Tolbarad and make sure you go to the little cave area right here. Once you go to the tunnel, make sure you have the the alliance take over first. Once the alliance take it over it, then go inside the raid. The boss that you want to take down first is from a Calism section here. And make sure you take down Elizabeth, the mistress of hate. She will have the chance of dropping the the one and only belt for at least at least a three percent chance of getting it. And since this is all class specific kind of raid, well, sort of class specific, as in, you know, the pieces of the gear is class specific, as in shaman, hunter, shaman, or whatever, or even paladin, or whatever. So that's basically where you get the belt. The belt has a chance of dropping for 3%, so remember that. So that's how you get the belt. You might be wondering, what about the shield? The, the chest? The kilt? To get those, you must go all the way to freaking everyone's fair expansion, Pandaria. Head to Valley of Four Winds, and once you go over there, make sure you talk talk to Eden Nalis, as he will sell both the chest and the kilt for three marks of honor each. Now, if you told off the helmet and shoulders, which is worth five marks of honor, and the chest and pants are both six marks of honor. Now, if you were to but five plus six, 
that in total will give you 11 marks of honor to spend. However, if you were to add the shield, which can also be bought from from Lucan Mallory, and once you talk to Mallory, he also sell sells it for two marks of honor. And if you call, put that in total, you get yourself 13 marks of honor to spend. Quite expensive, but it's not that bad as you might think. So yeah, three, thirteen. 13 in total, and you will get most of the pieces on the set. Now what about this axe? This axe in particular. This axe can be also be dropped from one particular raid, and that's everyone's favorite raid. But, but let's talk about the gloves first, because the gloves are more interesting. And let's talk about back in everyone's favorite raid, which is on the grand. And then all you have to do is just make sure you go to the left, the west side of the grand, and then make sure you go go near where the glider guy is at. After all, near the near the guard, he will actually that's where you actually find the raid entered next to him. And then once you go over there, the bosses that you want to take down are luckily are not that long for this gloves. Now let's look over here. The boss you want to take down to get the gloves is from Cargaff Blade Fist. Make sure you put this on Mythic Difficulty because that's how you get the specific color. Because if you were to do a different color run, then you get a different color indeed. So make sure you put this on Mythic Difficulty and you will actually get the gloves. The gloves had a chance of dropping for Cargaff Blade Fist for a whopping 9%. What makes these gloves interesting is that you can actually get this bind, binds unequipped. So if you were to get it from the auction house, luckily, averagely, it goes for 1,000k gold. Just be careful when there's some people who might sell it for a huge price of 30k or even higher. I know there's people out there who just make things expensive for no reason just to get a quick buck, but that's how people do it. Now, let's talk about the other raid, which is located all the way in Tier 1's Fairy Expansion. Has been gold approved, and that's going to Gorgoron. And once you sign, go inside Gorgoron, then you have to go to the north, sort of left to the near the mountains. But you'll find the entrance pretty quick. Once you find the entrance right there, then just go inside to the little tunnel area, and you will finally enter the raid. Now the interesting part is how you get to find up to the boss that that drops the freaking an axe. Well, first you gotta take down, take out this Dermak guy, the Operator Dogar, and then finally the Iron Maidens. Now the Iron Maidens do have a chance of dropping it, but make sure it's the right difficulty, otherwise you get this color. Now if you're doing a heroic mode, you get the, this axe. This axe has a chance of dropping it for a whopping 0.08% to 10 percent a little bit weird but from what I can tell some of the bosses might some of the other one of the you know the two bosses along with the first one also drop it too but I'm not sure if I recall you know they also drop it too as part of the loot table but higher chance higher chance but when it drops then you'll get your axe it will take a while to get this full set pieces but once you do get it it's all worth it I want to say thank you guys for watching, have a wonderful day, sorry if I throat a little itchy because I can't really talk when I have an itchy voice, but I sure will clear it up you know, after the video, so thank you guys for watching, have a wonderful day, until next time guys, peace out.